G'day guys, what I'm going to show you today is why these two identical looking thickness testers are different from each other, the CTS-30A and the, C and the, and the top of the line CTS-30C. Basic thickness testing through coating thickness testing. Let's jump into it. Okay, what I've got here today is what we're going to do between the CTS-30A and the CTS-30C is show you some of the difference on why a, they're, they're both great thickness testers, but one is going to just go through parent material, the other is, is a through coating thickness tester. And, and let me demonstrate that to you what that means here. What we've got here is a 12.5 mm thick test block. And we're going to get these units working. Turn the lights on so you can see the screens. Right. So now, like a pure Bob Ross style, I'm going to use a five millimeter paintbrush to apply couplant to the test blocks that are already on this unit. I'll run through. So we know it's, this block is a four millimeter test block, but right when it turns on, it already um, understands that. But we'll also make an adjustment or a calibration, a self calibration. And we can see its adjustment is complete there. And so the original material of this and this may be different, but let's see what this comes up with. Okay, that's not too bad. Not perfect. We'll do the same thing with this. Okay. Alright. So this is using a higher specified probe. This is a TGM5 probe. Uh, we'll put it on. We'll apply it. We'll self-calibrate. Okay. Right. So we've both got these running. Okay, so this is set at 5916 meters per second velocity and this is 5920. So that's why we can expect a slight variation because the velocities are slightly different. Nevertheless, for this example, what I'm going to simulate now is a coating. And so these films are approximately 0.3 of a millimeter. What we're going to do is apply this coating now. Small couplant to the top, make sure there's no air bubbles. And what we're going to see, if we can see, is okay, we're changing the thickness. Okay, so we've done one coating. That's now the second one. So approximately change the thickness by by 0.6. Okay, so this unit is already gone from 12.5 up to 13 millimeters. Now that's because this unit, the way this thinks is where the probe and the interface of the probe and the material, it's 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 calculating the time to the first echo and, and giving the reading from that perspective. This CTS-30C is, is, uses a different logic, so it looks at the first, that from the interface of the probe and the material through to the first echo, but it, it takes its readings from the first echo to the second echo, and what we should expect to see is almost no variation. No variation. We're getting that indication that yes, we're getting a good thickness reading. The unit has confirmed, and that's what we're getting, even though we've applied two films. Let's do a couple more. Let's not make this much thicker than what it is. Make sure there's no air bubbles inside these layers. So let's add 
Okay, more. Okay, so currently there's four layers there. Let's go uh, check this reading now with four layers. See, it, it's not taking the first uh, the inter from the interface of the probe to the material. It's, it's taking that information in, but it's not um, counting it. Okay, uh, what we see seeing here is I'll put the probe on there. We're getting our signal, but what we can see here. When you're talking about a coating thickness, uh, sorry, a through coating, when you're talking about a, a through coating thickness reading, what's actually happening, the logic on the, C, in the, in the, on the electronics of the CTS-30C is taking the information from the first echo and the information from the second echo and, and actually looking at the back wall echoes here. Even though the distance between the um, the the probe interface and the material, which would include the coating, that may be thicker uh, in between the f at the first back wall echo. So we're just taking it's being extra cautious and taking the second back wall echo to calculate its best reading there. So, okay, we have six layers that we've added here. We now have six layers. We're still reading the twelve and a half mil test block. Okay, I hope that's been useful on how we can show you what a through coating thickness tester does compared to just a standard basic thickness tester. They're all, they're all very good in their own right, but for applications with coatings, nice thick coatings, up to 30 millimeters, we would recommend this unit. I hope that's been useful for you. Have, have a brilliant day. Thank you.